Hey there, thanks for joining us. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Different types of dog training. It's not so much the type of dog obedience training you do. The important thing is that you have a well behaved dog. Most of the dogs in your neighborhood, or the dogs owned by your family and friends are probably not trained well. Or trained at all. Isn't that a reason by itself to have your dog trained better? There are four basic options for training your dog. Enrolling in a class, sending the dog away to be trained, training on your own, or working individually with a trainer. The first option is to take a class with your dog. A vet might recommend a professional trainer near your area. These classes can be a lot of fun and usually run many times a year, and last for about seven weeks. In this setting, a trainer works with the group on things like sit, stay and walking on a loose leash. The setting is a good way for dogs to get used to listening to their humans when there are a lot of distractions. Most instructors offer four or five levels of obedience, starting with puppy training to preparation for the show ring. The second option, you can take your dog to a training facility. The classes take place during the day, like day camp, or for a few weeks or months at a time. An expert will then begin training your dog. However we never recommend this option for someone who is often traveling, or too busy. The reasons we do not recommend this type of training is because your dog learns to respect and respond to whoever trains them. For this reason, we will always train our own dogs. The third choice is to train your dog on your own. The most difficult part of doing this is remaining focused enough to practice each day. If you have trained a dog in the past, and have the experience, then doing the training yourself might be best. The advantage of training your own dog, is you will be able to decide on the type of training and use your own techniques. In addition, you won't have to pay a trainer, with all the books out there on training dogs. You can find new ideas if you have problems. The fourth option is to work individually with a dog trainer. This is good if you need work on different issues, or if you have never trained a dog before, most likely this will cost more, but it is worthwhile. Each person and dog is different, so you should use the best method for whatever dog you own. Each trainer will have different ideas. Example, some will not allow training collars, like choke or prong collars, while others require them. Not all methods work for all dogs, so you may have to shop around to get one that fits your dog's personality. Get instant access to 100 free dog training tips in the link below this video, and learn the secret to training your new puppy that professional dog trainers hey use. There. We have some very important information that we'd love to send you. Just enter your name and email on this page to get started now. Thank you for watching. Just enter your name and email on this page to get started today.